Hey guys, welcome back to B&B Farms Maple Products. If you're new here, my name is Tony, and we've had a, a few requests from folks wanting to, to talk about or hear us discuss pond management practices here. Um, I'm a little leery about doing that, uh, strictly because no two ponds are the same, and what works in our ponds might not be the correct solution for your pond. So I think instead of giving advice, uh, we'll try to just make a series of short videos and just show you what we do uh, on some of these issues that arise. And maybe you can get something from that. Maybe it'll be helpful to some of you. Uh, for today, I'm going to start with something that's probably no stranger to anybody that has a pond. You can see it right there, right behind me. Um, let's talk about some pond weeds. Now, again, there's a lot more than one kind of weed here and they don't all require the same management strategy. So we're gonna pick one, we'll go through it. I'll tell you what we do, uh, show you how we do it and hopefully you'll get something out of it. So let's get into this. All right, so for our first weed, I've picked one that's probably one of the most common weeds you'll see in this area, filamentous algae is actually what this is called. I'll get down here and get a piece of it. If I can, there's a good spot right there. Come here. You can tell this stuff because it's green, slimy, almost like hair. Yeah, look at that. Almost like green hair, very slippery. And you'll see it a lot floating in mats on the surface. It actually grows on the bottom of the pond. And when you see it float to the top, like you see here, that's because it's just broken loose from the bottom. Uh, to get to the root of the problem, you need to attack it while it's still on the pond bottom. And I will show you how we do that. Filamentous algae. Okay, so how do we get rid of filamentous algae? Well, you could rake it out. Um, that, that works pretty well. But boy, it is a lot of work. Uh, very heavy, you know, it's all wet and, and it, it's filled with water. It's, it's tough, but you, you can do that. Uh, biologically, I know some people that have stocked grass carp in the hopes that they would get rid of filamentous algae. No, grass carp do not eat this stuff. If you're, if you're stocking grass carp in the hopes that you're gonna get rid of these floating mats of algae, you're gonna be terribly disappointed. So that just leaves us with a chemical option. And what we choose is a product called Qtrin Plus. It comes in both a granular here in the bag and a liquid form right there. Uh, it's a copper-based algicide. We use both the granular and the liquid. The granular for what's on the bottom and the liquid we can spray the mats that are on the surface. Uh, we just use a common two gallon garden sprayer for that. So let's get this mixed up and we'll spray this pond. I've got about two gallons of water in the sprayer and another 14 ounces of Cutrin Plus. I'm gonna to add to that. Uh, by the way, try not to get this on you. Um, if you do, you will definitely get your Smurf on. This stuff is bright blue. It's hard to get off too. Ask me how I know. Now we're just gonna spray those mats on the surface with it. Just like that, we'll just work our way around the circumference of the pond, trying to get all that we can. One thing about it, that blue really shows up. You can tell if you've got it or not. Now they say actually that once this stuff floats to the top that it's done growing and that you really don't have to treat it i'm not sure i believe that but maybe they're right i don't know i like to go ahead and make sure 
if you've got this in your pond, you've probably noticed that it'll go away after a rain because the water beating on it, it knocks all of the air out of it that's trapped in that, that thick, dense mat and it sinks. But after just a day or two, more gas builds up in it and it floats right back to the top. So it's just a, a rain, it's just a momentary reprieve. I hope this shows up so you guys can see it. A couple things I wanted to point out there. You can see the, the filamentous algae that we're getting rid of right now. But right off the left of it, you see that submerged vegetation? It's actually a, a, some sort of stem vegetation. It's got leaves on it. Uh, that's another whole different form of nuisance vegetation that we get to deal with. We'll talk about that later. Uh, that's the beauty of owning a pond, is there's always some new invasive weed uh, coming into your life to, to make things interesting for you. Oh well, we'll we'll get it. But right there, right in the center of the photo, is what I'm talking about. That that misty looking green blob is uh, filamentous algae. It's growing on the bottom, hasn't yet broken loose and floated to the top to make the mat that you see right there. So here in a little bit, that'll probably come to the top. But we're gonna treat that right now. We'll get some granular spread there on the bottom and hopefully get rid of that before it flows to the top. All right, the granular couldn't be easier. We're just gonna broadcast it. It looks like that. We're just gonna broadcast it out over the algae and just let it sink. Nothing to it. Work our way around the pond doing that in the shallow water. All finished up. We've applied the Q-Trend granular and the liquid. Hopefully uh, we'll see some results here shortly. I'll keep you guys informed. We'll check back in on this in a, a couple days and see what it looks like. Thanks for watching.